Welcome to the Skyline Collector feature demonstration. VMware Skyline is an innovative, proactive support technology that brings high-performing technology to the workbench to radically transform customer support. In this video, we will provide an overview for how to download, install, and configure the Skyline Collector. VMware Global Services will provide a hyperlink to download the Skyline Collector. Upon opening the hyperlink, you will be directed to My VMware. The Skyline installation guide and user guides are available as well as the Skyline Collector OVA. When ready, select Download Now next to the Skyline Collector OVA. After completing the download, log into the vSphere client to deploy the Skyline Collector. Select the vCenter server or cluster that you wish to deploy the Skyline Collector within and choose Actions, Deploy OVF Template. Select Local File, then Browse within the Select Template window. Browse to the location where you downloaded the Skyline Collector OVA. Once chosen, select Next. Provide a name and choose a data center or folder location for the Skyline Collector. In this instance, I'm selecting a vSphere cluster to deploy the Skyline Collector to. DRS is enabled on the cluster I've chosen. Therefore, DRS will decide which ESXi host is best to deploy the Skyline Collector to. The amount of space the Skyline Collector will consume on disk, when provisioned thin or thick, is provided on the Review Details window. VMware supports both deployment options. Therefore, choose the deployment option that best fits your administrative requirements. Review the license agreement and select Accept when ready to proceed. The Select Storage step allows you to choose the virtual disk format and the data store or data store cluster to deploy the Skyline Collector to. In this example, I am choosing to thin provision the Skyline Collector. After making your selections, choose Next. For networking, the Skyline Collector must reside on a network where it is able to communicate with the desired VMware management servers within the environment. These include vCenter Server and, if applicable, NSX Manager. In this example, we need to change the network from the vMotion network to the VM network. IPv4 is the default IP protocol and can be changed to IPv6 if desired. The Skyline Collector supports both dynamic and static IP addressing. If you wish to enter a static IP address, you can do so within the upcoming Customized Templates step. The final step in deploying the Skyline Collector includes setting the root password and, if desired, entering static networking properties. In this example, we have chosen to use a dynamic IP address for the Skyline Collector. Review the configuration data for the Skyline Collector. Since we have chosen to use a dynamic IP address, the IP allocation fields are blank. This is expected when using dynamic IP addressing. Once the Skyline Collector has successfully been deployed within your environment, power on the virtual machine and open console within the vSphere client. The Skyline Collector has two interfaces. The first interface we need to explore is the VAMI interface, which can be reached by entering https colon forward slash forward slash the IP address of the virtual machine colon 5480 within a web browser. Once reaching the VAMI interface, log in using username root and the password you provided during the deployment of the Skyline Collector. The VAMI interface allows you to make administrative modifications to the Skyline Collector. These include changing the time zone, confirming and modifying the IP address configuration, setting a proxy server, as well as checking for and installing updates to the Skyline Collector. The next interface we will explore is the Skyline interface. You can reach the Skyline interface by entering https colon forward slash forward slash then the IP address of the virtual machine in a web browser. Log into the Skyline Collector interface using username admin and password default. Registration of the Skyline Collector must be completed, as well as configuring collection endpoints, such as vCenter Server and NSX Manager. The first step is to change the current admin password. Enter the old password, default, and a new password that meets the password complexity requirements displayed. The collector must be able to access the internet in order to upload encrypted data to VMware. If a proxy is required to reach the internet, toggle the switch and enter the settings necessary to configure the proxy. Data collected by Skyline is subject to the acceptance of VMware's Customer Experience Improvement Program. Follow the links provided within this step if additional information regarding the Customer Experience Improvement Program is needed. Skyline Collector registration requires a MyVMR account that is connected to a production or premier services support entitlement. Select Validate to confirm the MyVMR account credentials entered. The Registered Entitlement step allows you to review the production or premier services support entitlements connected to the MyVMR account you supplied in the previous step. 
This allows you to discontinue collector registration if there is an error. If everything appears correct, please continue to the next step. This completes the registration of the Skyline Collector with VMware Global Services. Next, we must configure any vCenter servers and or NSX managers that you wish to connect to Skyline for data collection. An account with read-only privileges is required to configure the connection to each management server. At this point, if you wish to pause registration to create new read-only accounts, you can do so without fear of starting the registration process from the beginning. Upon returning to the Skyline Collector registration wizard, you will begin from the current step of configuring management servers. For vCenter server, enter the fully qualified domain name or IP address. Enter the read-only account username and password. If you are utilizing single sign-on, enter the advanced single sign-on URLs. Example URLs provided both here as well as within the Skyline Collector installation guide. Select Add to add the vCenter server for Skyline data collection. Repeat the same process for any NSX managers within your environment. Enter the fully qualified domain name or IP address of the NSX manager. An account with privileges to connect to NSX manager APIs and read data is required. The NSX controllers will be discovered automatically. However, an account with read only and SSH access is required. Select add to complete the process of adding NSX for Skyline data collection. If needed, you can add additional vCenter servers or NSX managers to Skyline within the settings page of the Skyline interface. This completes registration. Next, we will review the Skyline Collector interface. You can view the dashboard of the Skyline Collector by clicking on the dashboard icon at the top of the Skyline Collector interface. The Collector ID is a unique identifier for your specific Skyline Collector instance. It is used to identify the data being sent to VMware Global Services. For each vCenter server that is connected to the Skyline Collector, two endpoint types will be configured, VC changes and VC events. The VC changes endpoint type collects vCenter topology and configuration information. The VC events endpoint type collects vCenter event information. Similar to vCenter, for each NSX manager connected to the Skyline Collector, two endpoint types will be configured, NSX and NSX telemetry. The NSX endpoint type collects NSX product and configuration information. The NSX telemetry endpoint type collects NSX operational metrics information, such as CPU, memory, and disk usage. Each endpoint type will display the name of the product instance, the account being used to collect the data, and the last time data was collected. Endpoints that are actively collecting data will be shown in green, while endpoints that are stopped or having issues collecting data will be shown in red. For each endpoint, four actions can be performed, modify, stop, start, and remove. Modifying an endpoint allows you to change the name, IP address, or the credentials being used for that endpoint. Removing an endpoint will delete all information about the endpoint and stop collection. Stop will temporarily pause data collection from that endpoint. Start will start the data collection process for that endpoint. This concludes the download, installation, and configuration overview of the Skyline Collector. Stay tuned for further communication from VMware Global Services as we continue to expand the capabilities of VMware Skyline to further enhance your VMware support experience. Thanks for watching.